The most challenging special effects sequence of this movie is when a lightning bolt strikes. I can remember reading the script for the first time and pondering just exactly how we were going to achieve it. The way it was described in the script it was like, and the largest lightning bolt in cinematic history um, comes descends from heaven and hits the clock tower. And I, I thought, yeah, that sounds like a challenge. I want to go for something like that. It's very easy to write and sometimes hard to achieve, but I think we have some tricks up our sleeve yet. I think one of the things that was most intimidating about this movie when I first started doing it was that there's so many things going on, like the lightning, the wind, and all that stuff, that as an actor, you're kind of incidental. The thing I always got to remember is every time they watch a shot, they got to make sure that the crane is right, and the wind is right, and the lightning's right, and the, and the leaves that they're throwing in is right. But I know when it gets in the theaters, what they're going to look at is whether I look like an idiot or not. So I got to monitor that. Anyway, so the deal is now I gotta yell over these fans in order to be heard, so I sound like Broderick Crawford. My hair is not blown around as much as it should because I got 20 pounds of grease in it. And uh, so basically I'm dying out there, but it looks great, they keep saying. It looks great. Stop! Stop! I got it! 